There's nothing really quite like the first sip of your coffee. It's just like adrenaline just entering my bloodstream. I recently dyed my hair silver and it's the longest it's ever been because I don't want to cut the silver off yet. And once I cut it off, I know that it's gone. But I can't also decide if I like it or not. I can't tell if I'm giving those like silver fox daddy vibes or if I am just like looking old. So you guys let me know if you guys like the silver or not. I don't even know if you can tell really. Anyway, back to the reason that we are all here. As you can tell by the title, this is my summer style essentials. And in this video, we are going to cover everything that you would need if you wanted to revamp or start or even just add to your wardrobe for the summer season. Now, this is not gonna be a video where I'm gonna tell you to go get like basic white t-shirts. I feel like we are all past that. If you don't have a white t-shirt, definitely get one. Find a good brand. If you don't have any, I can definitely help you. But this video, we're gonna go a little bit more in depth in my summer style and things that like I like to wear and why I like to wear them and just why they're overall good to have in your wardrobe. So if you guys are going to the grocery store or to some private island somewhere in the world or even just your living room, this video is to help you look amazing at all times this summer. Okay, before I keep blabbering and this video gets completely off track, let's dive into the summer style essentials. So first up is something probably pretty obvious and that we all know, but it's denim. Denim is such a key in your wardrobe in general, any season that it is, but there's something about summer and denim that just like really gets me going. And it gives me these like, 1960s American vibe for some reason, I don't really know why, but I specifically love a pair of jeans in the summertime. The best part about denim, whether it's blue or black or white or yellow or printed, whatever, is that they pair well with basically anything. Whether you pair it with something easy like a simple white tee or if you wanna go a little bit further and get like a button down or something, denim is your best friend. One major key for denim is finding the fit that you like for your body type. So for me, I like something slim with a little bit of a straight leg fit so that I have some room to move my legs around. But you might be like 18 year old me and love to put yourself in the most tightest pairs of pants possible. When you're searching online or in stores, something that I like to look for is the percentage of cotton. I like to get something as close to 100% cotton as possible. I feel like that's the best durability and it'll just last you through all of the craziness that your life might take you on. So first up is the most affordable and it's my everyday pair. It's the one that I go to the most. It's just the blue ASOS normal skinny straight leg denim. I think they literally cost like $35 and they have lasted me over two years now. Um, I love the fit of them. They were a little long when I got them so I chopped off the hem and just made a little raw hem because I am the DIY king. Give me my crown. So if you're looking for a budget friendly denim that is great, check out ASOS. I'll also link it in the description below. Also, if you're testing the waters, go for something cheap and figure out what you like before you spend money on a designer pair. Next, I have this black straight leg pair from Everlane. I like Everlane's denim, it holds up really well, and I also like what they stand for being such a sustainable company. I love to wear these with a simple high top Chuck Taylor or just a simple white pair of sneakers. Summer is also a really fun time to play around with denim, so it's great to play with color or with print. I like these Levi's 511s. They're just also a like slim straight leg blue jean, but they have a cheetah print, leopard print, whatever you want to call it lasered into it. It gives it a fun kind of 80s vibe if you're trying to go for something more than just your normal blue or black jeans. Now this isn't denim, but I wanted to show you guys this option just in case you wanted to push things a little bit further and be a little daring. A good pair of cotton or linen chinos is always a great idea for the summer months. It's a great way to kind of like spruce up the outfit and make it a little bit more formal if you don't want to do like a casual everyday look. These are my absolute favorite from Uniqlo. I wear them all the time. I'm constantly pairing things with them and they're just so easy to style and they look great. So next on this list is my personal favorite and it is oversized shirts. I don't know what it is about oversized shirts that I love so much. I think it's me wanting to live my life in like a Lana Del Rey music video where things are flowing and we're riding in a convertible and just everyone is on good vibes. Or maybe I'm still hooked on all of the style and call me by your name and I just can't get over it. But what I love so much about them is I love to let them just like fly around whether you button one button or all the buttons or no buttons. It's just fun to let the fabric just 
always be going everywhere. It's also a great way to stay cool, having that air circulate through you while you run around on hot days. One of my favorite ways to wear them is layered with the t-shirt tucked in underneath it. I feel like you really get to take advantage of all the fabric flying around that way. I really love how practical they are. They can keep you cool during the day, letting the air flow through you, and they'll also keep you nice and cozy warm at night. This pink corduroy long sleeve shirt is one of my absolute favorites. I always reach for it. I love how loose it is, and I love to let the fabric just fly everywhere and have a mind of its own. It really gives me that vintage vibe. This short sleeve button down is also from ASOS and I love the artistic print on it. I feel like it's great for any kind of occasion, day or night. If you're looking for something just a little bit more high end, I absolutely love Paul Smith shirts. I wear them all the time. They're all over my Instagram. This is a current new one that I got that I am super excited to play around with in style this summer. I love the prints and the quality is amazing. My absolute favorite shirt is this Jack Moose long sleeve shirt. This is more high end but the print is so amazing. I feel like he is the king of prints, literally. I love it, it's also kind of like a white neutral tone because then I can pair it with a lot of things and just kind of let the print sit there. It's super, super flowy and super oversized, which I absolutely love, and it feels like I'm just like cuddled up in a blanket all day long. Probably one of my favorite items. Moving on, we have bags. Now, bags have been something that is kind of new for me. I tested the waters and now I am full blown in the pond, the ocean, drowning myself in bags. I don't know why, I'm just so obsessed with them. I used to stuff things in my pockets and now I let my pockets breathe and I let them sit the way that they are supposed to sit. In the summer, obviously you're gonna be showing a little bit more skin and you're gonna kind of have less practical storage and no one, no one on earth likes really stuffed pockets and likes the look of them. So invest in a bag and just give your pockets a break. Let them breathe. Let them lay flat and define your beautiful body. Whether you want something cheap that you can just use it to put your stuff in or you do want a new designer bag that you're gonna invest some money into, think about what you're gonna wear with it beforehand and how much you'll use it. This bag is actually my current favorite bag. It's also my newest, so that might be why. But it's in from Korea from the brand ASCLO. This bag is perfect size and I love how it looks on my body and it was literally like $50 with shipping. Whether it's your first bag or not, a neutral color bag is always a good idea because you can wear it with the most things. Next we have this more square geometric green pouch from Koss. I love to take this bag if I'm like going out with friends or something like that because it has a lot of storage so when everyone asks me to hold all their stuff, I can and I don't feel bad about it. But it can also hold everything I need. I also love it because if I clumsily spill on it or something, I can just wipe it off very easily and it won't leave a stain. The next bag we have is the JW Anderson Cat Bag. It is one of my favorite bags to make a statement if I want to go out and like just really like turn some heads. I love to wear this bag. People are like, what is that? Is that an actual hat? Can you wear it? Ha ha ha. I love to pair this with just like a simple black outfit or with just blue jeans and a white t-shirt, something super simple to let the hat speak. So if you're gonna go with a statement bag, make sure that you style it with something a little more subdued. And my last bag is the Dior saddle bag. It is the classic oblique style one. I love to wear this one if I'm going out somewhere formal, like to dinner or to an event or just a concert, anything. It's a really great iconic bag and I've easily worn it enough times for it to pay off. Bags can be super overwhelming, so just have some fun with it and play around. If you have any questions, I'm here for you. Also, don't necessarily compare price to the bag. I have a ton of bags that are like $30 that I absolutely love and I wear all the time. All right, next on the list, white sneakers. White sneakers are the best sneakers, and I'm gonna tell you why. They literally pair with anything. I'm not kidding, you can wear them with trousers, you can wear them with denim, you can wear them with prints, you can wear them with whatever. They are an iconic staple that you need in your wardrobe, especially in the summertime. Now this is not the video for Dior, Givenchy, or other designers because in the summertime, I actually like to go for classic and comfort really over anything and I leave the designer ones kind of for special occasions or special nights. Summer is the time that I feel like we all kind of get the most use out of our sneakers. We're outside a lot, we're running around, we're constantly slipping them on and off, going to people's houses, going to different things, going to the beach, going to the parks, whatever. So I lean more for like the stylish, everyday affordable things because I know I'm gonna be rough with them. You can't go wrong with classic design, so I go for the Vans White Authentic. I wear them with anything. I'm not kidding you, like I will wear these shoes with literally anything. They are so versatile, I love the fit of them, I love how they hug my ankle and I can still get the curvature of my ankles so you can show off some skin. I just hands down think they are the best everyday sneaker. My next favorite pair is the classic high top Converse. I love that these give you more of like a kind of boot look, but also as a sneaker. So it's great to wear with trousers or like some looser pants. It'll really help accentuate your foot and leg and make you look a little bit taller. Also, everyone really loves a chunky white sneaker right now. I'm not a super huge chunky, chunky fan. 
I don't really like the Fila's or like the massive Air Force Ones, but I do love a somewhat chunky, sporty look one. So my chunky sneaker go-to is the Everlane Court sneaker. They are new by Everlane and I feel like they're the perfect in-between between like something slim, like a Converse or a Vans, and something a little bit more chunkier like the Air Force One or the Fila's. And they really give me those like vintage kind of 80s shoe vibe. Moving along. Next we have vintage t-shirts. I know I said that we weren't gonna talk about t-shirts, but these are superiorly different. Vintage tees are just so much more stylish than just like a normal white or colored tee, I feel. They're always usually like unique and they're one of a kind and they all have their own kind of fit and no one really ever matches you. So you can really take advantage of them and have a lot of fun with them. I think I especially love these during the summertime because for some reason vintage tees kind of remind me of like the beach and just like the lakes or going on vacation in the summertime in California, I don't know. Some of my favorite places to get vintage tees are Goodwill. You can find amazing t-shirts for like literally $2, I'm not kidding. I also love Depop and I love Etsy. Also don't be afraid to just like buy some styles of vintage tees that you might not always wear. Like sometimes it's really great to have like this oversized flowy fun shirt. If you can't find vintage tees that you like, a lot of people make t-shirts that look vintage because they know everyone loves them so much. This one is from Guess and if you follow me on Instagram, you see this a lot. I love this shirt, I wear it all the time. And it's not actually vintage, but it does give that vintage look. And a lot of people have asked me if I've thrifted it. But in fact, no, I did not thrift it. I got it full price from Guess to make it look like I thrifted it. That's where we are. All right, next on the list is shorts. Shorts are by far the best way to stay cool and dry down there during the summer months, but at times they can be challenging to style well and look stylish while wearing them. Well-tailored and fit styles are the key to any outfit with shorts. I personally like to look for a style that sits above my knee. It kind of helps with my body proportions, and when I cover my knee, it kind of gives me stubby legs. So when I have a short that sits right above it, it helps elongate my legs and give me a more proportionate look. Something I've been super into lately are these ASOS, a little bit high-waisted, high-rise shorts with a pleat in the front. They're a great way to have a really stylish look while wearing shorts, and I feel like they give a little bit more of like a high fashion chic vibe. I also love a white pair of shorts if you can trust yourself. I usually actually can't. I have gone through many white pairs of shorts, but they're a great summer staple whether you wanna wear an all white outfit with just a white t-shirt and those white vans that I was talking about. These are Ogai shorts and I love that they have this fun little waistband detail where you button it on the side and I also love that they have these great big pockets in the front. The fit is well tailored and can be easily paired with any kind of shirt. If white is too daring for you and you don't trust yourself, a good just solid pair of like blue or even brown or just a neutral tone is always great to have and you'll be able to pair it with everything. These blue ones are from ASOS and they are super cheap and I absolutely love the fit of them. Oh hi, look who came to say hello. Do you want to talk about shorts? Hmm, no? You just want to sit there and look cute. Okay, all right, bye. My most asked about pair of shorts are by far these Adidas pink track pant shorts. I actually bought these as a track pant for Coachella and then it was just so hot that I ended up just cutting them. They're super great for that like effortless sporty look and I absolutely love wearing them. I'm not kidding you. I get asked every single time that I wear them where I got them. And I literally just cut them up. So don't be afraid to buy some pants and cut them up into shorts because they might be the best shorts you've ever made. All right, moving on. Next on the list is summertime outerwear. I think this is the most playful category that we have for summer clothes. It's really what's gonna give your everyday outfits that extra kind of like touch. My personal favorite is a denim jacket to match your so ever loved denim. This blue denim one from Levi's I got secondhand at a flea market and I've loved it ever since I've gotten it. I wear it all the time. I love the vintage cut of it and it's great for literally any summertime night. If you wanna spice it up a little bit, you can always go for a color denim jacket like this yellow one from ASOS or this black one from Levi's. If denim jackets aren't your thing, a good lightweight windbreaker is a great alternative. I got this nude tone one secondhand thrifted, but I absolutely love it. I've had it for years and I constantly, constantly keep pulling it out of my closet. I love these little string details on it and it's a great choice choice if it's a hot day out, but I might stay out till when it might get a little colder. It also pairs really well with like a white t-shirt and jeans. Next I got this maroon one from Uniqlo and it also pairs really well with jeans and a t-shirt and it just really kind of gives a nicer touch to that look. Another great summertime outerwear layer is vintage crewnecks. I live in them. I constantly wear them. I'm constantly buying them. I don't need to be buying them, but I just continue to keep buying them. They're so fun. They're so versatile. They have so much character to them. I just really love styling them. You can find vintage crewnecks just like you can find vintage tees. You can either look on Depop or Etsy, or you can go to a Goodwill or any other thrift store, but they are definitely a must, and you will thank me when you have these on a cool summer night. Also, if you have some old college crewnecks lying around the house, you can always add some bleach or some paint to it like this one here from Harvard and it will spice it up and really turn it into something. 
So that's summertime outerwear. It's a great, great layer to have throughout the summer in case you stay out and it's a cooler night and you are out with friends or bonfires or wherever you might be or even if you go to that friend's house that we all have that keep their AC on an Antarctica setting for some reason. All right, next up is swimwear. Everyone's dream during the summer is to just lay by the pool, lay by the ocean, be out on a lake, just be outside in the sun enjoying it. So swimmer is now a huge part of style and everyone likes different kinds and there's so many different kinds to choose from and it's honestly just really fun and I love it. So my biggest advice for swimwear is to wear something that resembles you as a person. I like to wear bright colors and prints because that is the kind of person that I am. Also a major tip for swimwear, and this goes for all genders, well-fitted and stylish swimwear can easily make a look for before, during, and after any pool, water, lake, ocean activity that you may be finding yourself in. I can't tell you how many days throughout the summer that I have made a look out of my swimwear from the morning all the way to the end of the day. Some of my favorite styles are these shorts from Orlevar Brown. They are a little bit more on the pricey end, but I love the tailored look and the quality that comes with it. I also love these from T. Christopher. They are my go-to for any fun prints and they have a ton to choose from. They also fit really well. Lastly, these are more of a budget-friendly ones from ASOS. Their swim does fit really well and they have a ton of different styles to choose from for whatever you like. So if you need more of a budget-friendly one, these are definitely a good alternative. Okay, lastly on our list is jewelry and sunglasses. Adding a necklace, bracelet, or shades can totally be the making point of any outfit. If you're wearing less or something more simple, just like shorts and a t-shirt, this will help bring that elevation back to the look and really make it something. A huge tip going back to swimwear, try adding a chain or a bracelet next time you are by the pool or at the beach. It really gives you that effortless cool vibe while you take a dip or while you lay out. All right guys, so that is my summer style essentials guide. I hope that it helped some of you out a little bit as we go into our summer months. It's a really exciting time for style, so make sure you guys have fun with it because that's the most important anyway. Other than that, I'm gonna go get on with my life. I'm gonna edit this and it'll probably take like seven hours. So yeah, that's amazing. I can't wait to see you guys style all your outfits and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.